Hi, my name is Nicole Francis and I'm from Rye, New York. For the past couple years, I've been conducting an environmental research project and as a 16 year old, I applied for the Eco Hero Award. I've been working with my local nature center to monitor the glass eel population running through the Blind Brook off the Long Island Sound. Glass eels are a keystone species, meaning they're at the low end of the food chain among marine life. They are a catagermous fish, meaning that they migrate and travel through oceans. They're born in the Sargasso Sea. They migrate up along the Atlantic coast into northeastern estuaries. Before dying, they return back to the Sargasso Sea to reproduce, and the cycle continues. Glass eels look really cool. They're about an inch and a half long, and they're transparent. Only two black dots stand out, which are their eyes. But there's a major problem. Recently, the glass eel population has been declining. Their decrease in numbers is caused by pollution and natural and man-made barriers. The decrease in glass eel population can cause severe problems for the ecosystem. For my project, my mentors and I contacted the New York Department of Environmental Conservation. We installed a fike net, a special net designed to catch glass eels into the blind brook and collected daily data on the eels migrating through from the months of March to early June. We collected data on the numbers of eels, weather patterns, and water conditions. I looked for correlations between the number of eels migrating and these environmental factors. I compared these findings to the several sites along the Hudson River and found that the number of glass eels found in the Long Island Sound was the median of the sites along the Hudson River. There is also a slight correlation between higher levels of precipitation and greater numbers of eels migrating through. Through analyzing this data, I've been trying to spread awareness about glass eel migration through various symposiums, fairs, and the opportunity to go on a radio for a half hour. I feel so lucky to be a part of helping this important species grow in numbers. I hope my research brings awareness to the importance of saving glass eel specifically and preserving our environment overall in the future. Thank you so much to the Action for Nature organization for all their support in this cause.